Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on September 24th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update as well earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. I'll be starting out here looking at our sun for the past two days, as we've seen two notable M-class solar flares, and as well pointing out the plasma filaments we've been keeping an eye on. No filament eruptions yet, but large equatorial plasma filament developing there in the outgoing region. Looking incoming right now, cresting limb. This is where we saw the strong M-class solar flare and as well another M-class solar flare from pretty big sunspot regions cresting into view. Looking at outgoing here, this is where there is a large plasma filament swirling around the equatorial region. As you can see, lifting from the surface there, probably about 13 to 15 Earths tall, big solar tornado on the sun. Looking at multi-spectrum, pointing out the last 48 hours of events, did have a couple coronal mass ejections to uh, add to our prediction spirals. Also have coronal hole region, small but turning away, and as well, one in the southern hemisphere of our sun, developing in the last few images here. 171 angstroms, amazing images, brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, mixed with daily events worldwide. And thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying these updates, please don't forget to give a thumbs up, comment down below. Right now, we're observing eight sunspot regions. Two of them, pretty active. As you can see them in motion here and cresting into view. Get in the comments section down below. Let me know where you're watching from. Maybe timestamp your most favorite part of this video. Current space weather conditions, there are none to speak of right now. Solar winds are calming down, coming in at 384 kilometers per second. Solar X-ray flux staying in the C range today. Two strong C-class solar flares. One minor M-class solar flare yesterday and one moderate the other day. Geomagnetic activity hanging around at a KP2. Space Weather Prediction Center here updating their spiral. CME projected towards Earth. Expected arrival September 25th into the 26th. And that was from the most recent Solar flare, M-class solar flare, cresting limb, turning into view, and there's our next solar storm. So 25th, 26th, you will see some northern lights if it is clear in the northern latitudes and south. Having a look at ISWA Space Prediction Spiral, most recent CME plasma filament eruption in the northern hemisphere of the sun, that is where this CME came from. Also notable there, Mercury circling around the backside with Stereo A. Lasco 2 sharing the last two days of space weather leaving our sun. Two notable coronal mass ejections. One right there. And another one right there. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours as we're still slightly above average. Largest being the 6.0 magnitude earthquake yesterday, in Indonesia. 5.6 reported Izu Islands, Japan. No new deep earthquakes to speak of. It's been pretty quiet throughout that region today. But lots of minor seismicity, Hawaii, Alaska, and the United States. USGS is reporting 225 earthquakes the past 24 hours. And that is slightly down from last night. It was sitting at about 275, almost 300. Notable seismicity here north and northwest of Yellowstone. Minor, very minor. But also minor seismicity at Mount Shasta. Today, Trout Lake, Washington. And there's still minor seismicity here occurring at Desert Air, Washington. Seeing a boat. Looks to be about 10 earthquakes through the region. So, minor tremors still continuing through Washington. Carrying on here, 
Caribbean plate. Pretty quiet today, considering everything as of late. 5.2 earthquake, Taltal, Chile. And as well, a 4.6 here reported. South Sandwich Islands, northern region, Bellany Islands. Notable earthquakes here as well. Myanmar, 4.6 up into the India plate. Pococo, Myanmar, and as well, Bamboo Flat, India. Heads up, stay aware, prepared, waiting for something deep. Yet again, as it's been a quiet day for deep earthquakes. Having a glance here at the last seven days for Shakers, strongest being the 6.0 magnitude earthquake, Indonesia, and as well as 6.0 reported Argentina last week. Notable activity here across the Indian Ocean, 5.0 magnitude. Kilauea still erupting, still an active 63 volcanoes across the planet. Now let's get to weather here as we're observing Tropical Storm Helena, or sorry, Helene, as it is now just west of Cuba and will be making landfall Florida. Looks like for Thursday into Friday, but we're going to be watching this fast forming storm. We remember this is where Hurricane Michael, the fastest forming Cat 5 hurricane, formed right here in the same region that Helene is coming through. And the Gulf waters are very warm right now, sitting at about 31 to 32 degrees Celsius. Sea surface temperatures are very warm through the Gulf. Having a look here, satellite imagery showing Hurricane Helene, now a tropical storm, sustained winds of 85 kilometers an hour. But looks like Thursday making landfall Thursday night, late Thursday night, with sustained winds of 185 kilometers an hour, Gusting up to 225. Category 3 major hurricane for Tallahassee and northern Florida. Heads up and stay safe out there, my friends and family. Please share this channel with your friends and family. Having a look here at Tropical Depression, John, as it brought unbelievable amounts of rain through parts of Mexico. Strong winds and look at the forecast models for Hurricane Helene heading right up into central United States. Windy.com showing here the forecast models grinding right up into Tallahassee, making landfall Thursday night at about 9 to 10 p.m. Forecast models could change, but look at the size of this thing as it enters into the mainland. Now let's have a look at wind gusts now, as this is going to be a Category 3 storm, packing winds of 185 kilometers an hour. Thoughts and prayers go out to everybody who will be affected, batten down the hatches in Tallahassee and northern Florida. Early models are showing making landfall Thursday evening, most likely a little bit earlier than what is forecasted here. Observing winds in the northern hemisphere, low pressure systems bring rain, and we've got some pretty strong systems swirling around both the northern and southern poles. Watch for extreme weather through parts of Eastern Europe in the long range and as well through the United States and Canada, Eastern Canada. Big low pressure system there. Long range forecast showing the same thing for the BC coastline and Alaska. Strong low pressure systems. Very windy. And there is our next tropical system, long-range forecast showing it forming there east of the Caribbeans. Observing the southern hemisphere, watch South Africa in the long-range forecast here. Looks to be about for the weekend, very strong lows. Quite possibly heavy snows in higher elevations, but very windy event from Sunday to Tuesday, September 1st. Heads up, friends and family. Our world is getting ready to flop into winter. Polar vortex, as I showed just yesterday, is setting up. Look at those big systems here in the southern hemisphere. Wow, these systems are big and they are strong and they are packing a lot of moisture. 
Things have definitely changed over the past seven years. Broadcasting here with daily events worldwide should be an interesting outro to the Atlantic hurricane season and as well, most likely, Pacific cyclone and typhoon season as well. Keep an eye on things through Southeast Asia and Japan. Much love, everybody, and enjoy. Hope you enjoyed the show. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your daily do. I know. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. Subscribe. Share with your friends and family from across the world.